free time tonight to work on my uh, flying snowball of a Quest XS and uh, the next project is to make a race hood. I've got this foam cover that all Quests come with but I want something that one doesn't cover the entire cockpit that'll end probably right around here so that I can easily see the handlebars and uh, all the controls and switches and my GPS. And then I want something that's gonna come here over my head and then it'll have a visor uh, similar to the race hoods that you see on the Quest. So what I'm gonna use to build the plug, because I'll make it out of carbon fiber, is I've got a half of a sheet of formerly four by eight, one and a half inch thick foam insulation. I used part of the sheet to build the new nose that I'm working on for my cedar strip wah, but uh, that's a subject for another video. So I'm gonna cut that up, I'm going to use the existing foam cockpit cover to give me kind of the rough shape and then it will get fit into the cockpit to get a more precise shape and then I'll build it up so it's got the same height as this foam cover. All right so I've got sort of a form now in the cockpit uh, what I did was I traced out the form of the cockpit, foam cockpit cover onto that piece of foam insulation board and then I bit by bit shaved off bits as I pressed it down against the opening and I've got some trimming yet to do but just to get a rough shape of it and then I'll transfer that to one more piece of the foam insulation board so that I've got the right height. And then I can start working on uh, the part that will go over my head. All right, so I have the area done along the shoulders. Next, what I need to do is I'll need to stack a few pieces up to get it up to the level of the head bump and then I can work on shaving those as well and then the whole thing needs to be sanded and at minimum covered with a layer of um, drywall mud and then possibly with layer of auto body filler we'll see I need to tape off the edges with that blue flash tape here around the cockpit so that I can fill in around there and the carbon fiber fabric will get laid up here to the edge of the cockpit and the flash tape will make sure that I don't make a terrible mess of things. I'll of course cover the side with some more of that uh, plastic that I've got over there to protect that just in case I have any drips and stuff. And then I can, uh, of course I'll do the same on the head bump. Then I can get the carbon fiber laid up, uh, a couple layers, likely of 3K, although I've got a bunch of 6K left over. And uh, then I can deal with cutting out the areas for the, uh, the windows and that kind of thing. I'm working again on making the hood for the Quest. I'm trying to make a uh, kind of a convertible hood that can be sort of like the one on the WoW where you have the cockpit cover area and then you've got the removable hood that would be useful for touring. Uh, initially I did uh, a plug. This is the plug that I was working on and I really was not very happy with how it was turning out. I was having a tough time getting the shape I wanted. So I've switched over to making a form somewhat more similar to what I did when I built the race hood back there 
for my cedar strip wow. I just uh, kind of got the shape roughed out with some pieces of quarter inch foam insulation board. And now I'm going to fill in in between it with uh, some pieces of thicker foam board insulation. And then I can uh, use the sander and get it uh, kind of perfected. The toughest part is here in the back getting stuff filled in here so that it fits to the, the shape of the uh, turtle deck. Time for a progress update for today on the hood plug. I've got it shaped and in place and it is covered with a decent amount of not very good uh, sheetrock mud. Had a container left that unfortunately was a little bit on the moldy side, but I think it will suffice. I just want a kind of a boundary layer on there. I might lay the fabric directly up on that, but most likely I'll put some auto body filler over it. And uh, then I can work on the skirt part of it down here. I need to get the lip around it that will keep the rain from getting inside. And then this part is just in a detachable hood uh, like you'd see in the WOW. And I have a couple of different ideas for how I might want to do the uh, the sides and the visor. Um, some different ways to maybe make it a sort of a modular uh, detachable system because I want to be able to easily uh, kind of fold it up like the wow hood does so that I can stuff it in the back when I'm out touring or if I'm out riding on a day when the weather might start out good and then end up bad. Um, you know, I can pop the hood on at any point in time or feel like I'm getting a little bit too much sun and and I want the hood on to give me a nice sun barrier. So some ideas I'm playing around with, I don't have to make a final decision until I get the rest of it, the plug, ready to go. Good evening, here's another update on the hood build. Uh, I've got the plug now with a second coat of um, sheetrock mud a joint compound on it and I'll show you what that looks like. This time I used uh, a powdered mix that you mix with water. It's quicker drying and I can control the consistency better and it's also not moldy like my bucket of mud. So here's where I'm at. The plug's already starting to dry and I think after this once I get it sanded down, I think that may actually be the final coat of mud that's needed, at which point then I can start laying up the carbon fiber. Um, before that bucket of mud dries, I'm working here on the skirt section, and I've cut out a little bit here, and I'm going to fit in now the kind of a rain gutter that's going to run around the sides here and um, then I'll butt that up against the side of the plug and I'll once I get that sanded down then I'll fill in the bottom edge of the plug and um, then I just have to let it dry and then it's time for um, I may do a base layer of paint otherwise I'll just um, yeah, I'll probably just do a layer of primer and then I just need to get it waxed really well and then I can actually lay up the carbon fiber. I'm very nearly done now with the plug. I've just been filling in a few more touch-up spots, trying to round off this edge here a little bit, and then smooth out the uh, deck part. I'll do another sanding tonight, and there might be one or two little low spots yet that I wanna fill in just a bit more and then 
it will be ready for the carbon fiber layup. And uh, today, the motorcycle visor that I ordered will arrive, and that will allow me to finish this area in here. I didn't want to put anything in there until I had that visor and had a really good idea of what the shape was going to need to be and the width and stuff. So once that comes, I'll finish that up as well. And I may just get both hoods laid up uh, the next day or two. I'll have to make a run for some more carbon fiber fabric and maybe a little bit of extra epoxy. Then when that's done, then I have in these two boxes, the two tubes, I have the vinyl wrap here. And then I will get busy on the vinyl wrap. I may wait until Sunday to do that. The weather will be warm enough Saturday for a ride, so I'd like to take it out uh, with one of the hoods and do a nice little test ride. It'll be in the snow, so I'll have to put the heavier snow tires up on the front. And uh, then I can get the vinyl wrap done, and then I will be done working on the quest for now. At some point I may add a little bit of extra stiffening, but uh, then the next project will be getting the cedar strip wah here into the house uh, for the renovations on that. I've got the nose plug nearly done for that. And then I can work on the carbon fiber boom and the new wheel wells and the new bridge. And then I'll have, uh, hopefully by the spring, I'll have both velomobiles ready